Okay, so I wanted to start off this video with a look at some of this poster art that I got done. There's a bit of a glare, but you can see some scenery. There's a beautiful brook trout there. And then this one over here is a little less glare on a big brown trout that I had, but that gives you an idea some of the other stuff I've been doing, but I wanted to talk about uh, lure size and lure selection. Okay, so I wanted to talk a bit about lure size and lure selection. And So what I'll start with here is, um, uh, this is the box of uh, parts and things that you may have seen on other videos that I have. And um, I have this just to show you the assortment of things that goes on uh, in the packages and stuff. So all different kinds of parts and pieces um, but uh, I make several different sizes of lures uh, to suit the conditions of the season and in the early season um, I tend to uh, start with these um, smaller lures uh, and not for very long but, but in the first month of the season or when it's very cold uh, it might be necessary to use a, a size 2 lure uh, size 2 lures can be a 16th or a 32nd of an ounce. Um, they're real tiny, real small. The thing that I do though is I use a larger diameter wire. Um, if you buy a Panther Martin this small or a MEPS uh, or a Vibrax this small, uh, one good fish uh, will bend that wire and ruin the lure. Um, so these are the size 2's. This is actually a reclaim that I put back together with the with the bigger wire and there's all different kinds in here a few different colors this is a MEP style uh, here so uh, but you can see they spin nicely but these uh, I'll use um, when the fish are shying away from any other size lure and if they don't bite this then it's time to go home um, but uh, these are the smallest ones that I make and those are the size two what I'm using right now at this in the last uh, three videos uh, that you've seen online uh, is size four, and size four is anywhere from a quarter to uh, quarter ounce body to uh, perhaps a little less or a little more. But you can see that it's a bigger body. I'm still using a size 12 hook, a little bit smaller hook on these sizes. This is a MEP style. Um, people ask me all the time what color. Uh, lures do I use and so on and I will tell you that I've come to the conclusion that the color of the lure almost doesn't matter I've used uh, painted different bright colors dark colors on the bodies and I've caught fish when the, all of the paints completely wore off just as often as I did when the paint was new so I've gone to using pretty much exclusively these metal finish type bodies that are brass or uh, silver and uh, haven't noticed anything uh, particular uh, but again it's that heavier wire these are hard to damage even on a snag uh, stick uh, rock I mean they just don't bend I do hit all of my hooks uh, with a file before uh, completing the lure um, and I'll occasionally uh, throughout the year, uh, usually before I go out on outings, I'll hit them again with the file and get the hooks all razor sharp. These are all very, very sharp. This one has a uh, Vibrax clone kind of uh, noise maker uh, bell uh, housing. I always use a solid metal uh, bead too. Uh, the split beads that are on some of the uh, common uh, lures are cheap and eventually they separate a little bit and hang up your spinner so these uh, you can see how nicely they spin very very nicely um, and here's one that is a gold vibrax type and this one this one is less than a quarter ounce that one's probably a sixteenth still it's one of those smaller uh, panther martin type of bodies that I reclaimed so I do recycle a lot of stuff out of these uh, uh, lures and I remake them. So if you have a pile of lures sitting around collecting dust that you want to get rid of, let me know. I'll be happy to take them off your hands and get you shipping or whatever. 
So I did try sixes this year, but the fish were spooked by sixes. I think I caught one fish, uh, and then I noticed I had follows but no bites, and on the fours they started uh, biting uh, completely. And so I'm uh, anticipating that once the weather warms up, we'll be using the sixes pretty quickly here, probably still in January. But this is a Panther Martin set that I've reworked. And now I'm to a size 10 hook. And one thing I will say is that these red hooks, these Eagle Claw laser uh, hooks, they're three times strong, which means they have three welds on the shank. Uh, and the red finish does seem to make a difference uh, in terms of uh, fish uh, hitting them. So I like the red hooks. I think they're far superior to the stainless or the bronze finish. But you get the idea here. These lures are all a quarter ounce. Uh, body, uh, some a little slightly different, but but again, um, that thicker wire, solid bead, um, and just a, a much uh, sturdier lure. I uh, make and remake these several times over throughout the year, so uh, I usually end up just sharpening hooks, and uh, I'll take the Dremel and uh, buff some of the exterior metal finishes back to a nice uh, shine and no problems so that's the size six I imagine that I'll start using those pretty soon here and as the season progresses um, probably by April May for sure uh, we'll be into the size nines and size nines all have a quarter to a third ounce 275 um, 3 8 ounce kind of bodies um, and they're kind of uh, similar style, uh, so the same number 10 hook. Uh, I like the hammered uh, blades, a nice steel bead. You get the idea here, it's not uh, rocket science. I do um, use uh, some plastic beads on some of my lures. Uh, I think that it's just an eye catcher. I don't know if it mimics blood or an egg or something that they want to eat, but I do like uh, the beaded uh, lures and again this is a, just a slightly different body that I use um, and here's a uh, 3 8 uh, ounce with um, a Panther Martin holographic body but you see how smoothly those work if your lure if your lure is not spinning smoothly you need to get a different lure and then uh, last season by June, uh, I was already into uh, size 15s, and I think I'll start even sooner. I'll probably shoot for May. Um, but as soon as the fish start getting in full swing for feeding dusk and dawn, and there's hatches coming regularly, these large size 15 uh, blades are the ticket. And again, fish 3 inches to 30 inches will nail these lures. I'm still sticking even with the heavier lure here with a size 10 hook um, and I think this works fine for stream fish. Um, solid bead again but you get the idea here. I have some that are a little bit more uh, uniquely shaped. Here's a diamond uh, shaped body and that's an old uh, black. I actually found that lure in the bottom of the river. Uh, when I was waiting, and it was a rusted lure, but that blade was still good, so it got reused. And this is one of the more popular bodies. The fish really seem to like this weight. And this one is this one is um, three eighths, uh, so it's heavier for a nine. So if you need a spot to sink in deep or get down in a hole, uh, this is the one to do it. And so. Um, these, the majority of the season, I'll end up using size 15 lures, that's for sure. Just trying to see if there's anything else here in this box to, to show you. Here's one that's very, very heavy and just has a three uh, Mepsaglia uh, blade, but that's a, uh, that's a half ounce body. So again, I do put together a couple of uh, very heavy ones so that if I get into a particular spot where I want to get down in a hole I can get a lot of depth and penetration into that hole. 
And so uh, I use essentially the same size blade when I go for salmonoids or steelhead, um, but in this case uh, I, I go to a larger hook. So this is a size 4 hook that was actually on this stock um, Vibrax. And you can see um, my buddy uh, used this two or three casts and it got bent to hell from the Vibrax wire. And so now it's got that thicker wire in it and it's back together. Um, here's another one of these um, 3 8 ounce bodies. So this whole lure is about a half ounce. And this is the hook that I really like for steelhead and salmon fishing. Um, it's a size 6. And again, those red uh, eagle claw laser hooks. But that nice smooth spin, um, that's the most important thing with any spinner, any inline spinner that you're going to use. I have some also that have a kind of long oval body. That's a heavy, heavier one. And I've got some with, again, a nice heavy body and a bead. And this is going to be my steelhead box. And We'll get to that when steelhead season comes around again at the end of next season. Um, here's a heavy brass uh, body lure with a size 15 blade. And this hook I had left over from an old reclaimed Panther Martin that hadn't even seen the light of day. Um, but uh, that's my uh, take on lure size and uh, lure selection. So, happy fishing.